The following is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Third-Party Plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Here's another free filter from Alex 4D. One of the limitations of Final Cut 10 is it has extraordinarily limited masking to be able to hide parts of the frame. Alex has created masks that are more flexible. This is his mask four-sided, eight-sided, and 16-sided filters. For instance, here, if I were to mask this by going to keying, and I use the mask that's built into Final Cut, I have a circle mask. Final Cut provides that. And I have a rectangle mask, also provided in Final Cut. But if I go and, and add Alex's mask, I have a, a four-sided mask, an eight-sided mask, and a 16-sided mask. Let's go with the eight-sided and drag it on top of the clip. Highlight the clip. Notice that I've got control points for all eight of these. So I want to just drag this over to here, drag that to there, pull that over just a bit, pull this up just a bit, increase this, pull that over to there. And I've now created a, a wildly non-rectangular mask. If I grab a side, I can pull this up or down, change the position of the mask. If I grab a corner, I can rotate the mask. As I drag this in or out, I can scale the mask up or down so I can get it to be exactly where I want it positioned. And this is not black. This is transparent. If I had a clip below here, I'd be, well, for instance, watch this. If I hold the Option key down and Option drag up, now I have two clips stacked on top of each other. Make it just a little bit taller. There we go. If I select the bottom clip, oh, it isn't transparent. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't make a liar out of me. Oh, of course, because select here, delete the mask, had the same filter in both. Whew. Good, it was transparent. I just had the same filter on both layers. I'm going to go to the blur category here, drop in a Gaussian blur. And notice that now, I'll go back to where I have, I've got my iceberg inside the mask is in focus and everything else is out of focus. That's because the bottom layer is fully blurred and the top layer just has the mask in focus. And by stacking the two of them on top of each other, I get an in focus, weirdly shaped iceberg with everything else out of focus. Alex has three mask filters, the four-sided, the eight-sided, and the 16-sided. And you can get them from alex4d.com. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, and up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering third-party plugins from Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 99. Thanks.